welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello and welcome my name is jessica of the blog miss more style here on youtube i make videos about affordable fashion beauty lifestyle and travel so make sure that if you're interested in those topics then you hit that red subscribe button and ding the notification bell because i upload two or three times a week usually they are fashion related videos if you like really like high fashion on trend fashion but you don't like to spend a bunch of money i'm your girl because i love to find affordable pieces that won't break the bank that will help you look the most chic. Also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I share more daily fun outfit and style inspiration and fun stuff on my stories. So today is just going to be a sort of like what's new in my wardrobe collective type of haul. I haven't done one of these in a very very long time. Usually I do like very like specific retailer hauls but I've got like a little collection of things from various retailers that wasn't quite enough from each one to do like dedicated hauls for each. So I'm just gonna do one of these like what's new in my wardrobe type of hauls. Got a little bit of stuff from Chic Wish. I've got a brand new handbag that oh my god handbag of dreams wait for that one extra little amazon things be sure to keep watching um we've got clothing shoes accessories all kind of great stuff in here as always you can find the links to everything that i'm going to show you in the description box below as well as my sizing information also before we get into this i just want to mention today is may third I want to say it is the month of May it is my birthday month my birthday is on the 23rd so to celebrate that this month I kind of want to give back to you guys for being such amazing subscribers me doing a giveaway um, on most every video in this month I think that's my goal where's my prize where's my really really Oh my god it was right under my chair so for this week's giveaway i am going to be giving away this really fun sally hansen set um they sent me two of these so one of you guys is going to get my second one and it is just this really great nail set there's it's got some great really really fun nail polishes in there it's a total of six nail polishes and then one of their miracle gel top coat this is their miracle gel color so it's supposed to act like a gel if you all want to win this awesome Sally Hansen gift set. Here is how to enter to win this. So it's really simple. You just make sure to subscribe to this channel, Miss More Style. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and make sure that when you comment that you include an emoji and I will reveal what that emoji is later in this video so that you have to watch the whole video to see what that emoji is. So just stay tuned for what the emoji is. You also need to go over to my Instagram, which is Miss More Style, and leave me a comment on my latest post. And also in that comment, you're going to include the little mystery emoji that I will disclose later. Later. And the reason for that is just so that I can know that you are entering this specific giveaway. It helps me to keep track of that. This giveaway is going to run until next Monday. I will announce the winner on next Monday's video. And you must be over 18 to enter and you must also be in the United States. I cannot ship this internationally. It costs a lot of money. That's it. All right. So the first bit in this haul is from a brand called Chic Wish. And everything from Chic Wish that you're going to see was gifted. I'm so excited because Chic Wish is a brand that I have been a huge fan of for many, many years. They have just really beautiful like feminine um kind of girly uh pieces that just have such beautiful beautiful details in them and they are a, a really fair price point i feel like for what they are when they reached out and said that they wanted to collaborate with me and gift me a couple things i was just like yes first thing that i have to share with you is this tool ballerina skirt this is probably one of the items from chic wish that i have had my eye on for the longest time i feel like these big tool skirts were like super huge like a several years ago i don't really even know but i just remember them being like a massive fashion trend and i really wanted these one of these back then i just didn't get one and even though i feel like ballet tool skirts are not like as massive as they were i still love them and i will still wear one because i just think they're so fabulous i am such a girly girl at heart i just really really love girly stuff i might not always dress that way but at heart i'm such a girly girl and so this huge fluffy tool skirt is from my dreams i tried it on and it is perfection it looks just as good as it does in the pictures online if not better in person and i also like that the color of it is kind of a nudish pink it's not like a baby pink and that i think kind of helps to keep the skirt from going into like little girl playing dress up territory if you know what i mean um, and it keeps it a little bit more chic they also have this one in black which i really want the black one now too i'm not gonna lie it fits really nicely if it's true to size it has an elastic waist which is a great plus and I'm just so excited to channel my inner Carrie Bradshaw in this skirt. Ugh. I can style it in such a way as to make it feel a little bit more punky like I did here and make it not feel quite so girly by styling it with things that are a bit more masculine or a bit more edgy. And I think that kind of creates a really fun look as well. Second item from Chic Wish that I got is this gorgeous dress that is just, I mean, I am ready for Cinco de Mayo in a couple days. Am I not? That or a trip to Mexico, which I would love 
universe. The details in this dress are so stunning. So I ended up getting a medium large in this because I was reading the reviews that people left um, and I looked at the size chart and it kind of seemed like people who were like a similar size to me got a medium large and that was what worked for them. And when I got it and tried it on, it definitely fits and it's fine, but there's definitely a little bit of extra material on the top that I don't really need. I definitely think I could have gotten the small medium, no problem, but because of the way that this dress is, like the style of it really matters so much, like you can't really tell that's a little bit too big on me because of the fact that it has the tie waist, or I can just tie the waist as tight as I need it to be and it will cinch it in and it looks like it fits me just fine. So that is a plus because otherwise, <laughs> it would be a little bit baggy. Just love the colors in this. It's so vibrant. It has a really great little slip underneath and then the skirt crosses over in front of it to make it kind of look like it's a wrap dress. It's really pretty off the shoulder, but you can also like put the sides up onto your shoulders and wear it that way too. And I think it also looks really, really nice like that. So just a really pretty dress for summer, for maybe traveling somewhere tropical when you go out for like a nice dinner. It just, it's so pretty. I put it on my Instagram stories and already you guys were like, oh my God, it's so pretty. The last item that I got from Chicwish is this stunning like blue nude ombre dress. The details in this dress are just exquisite. I saw this on somebody on TikTok. So I got the email from Chicwish. I was like, I have to get that blue dress that I saw on TikTok. I need it right now. And I just, I have to say that this dress is like really embodies what Chicwish's pieces are really like. It's very detailed, very, very feminine. And I think really pretty like high quality um, construction. I just want to mention that the top of this dress is pretty sheer and they do send with the dress this little nude colored tank top. I don't even know. Is this nude or it just looks like beige? They send this with the dress to wear underneath it just because the top is so sheer, but I honestly wore a bra that was the same color as my skin tone and I really feel like you couldn't see it. So it is an Asian brand um, and the sizing can be a little bit wonky. This one is a small medium, I wanna say, and it fits really well. The one place that I will say that it doesn't quite fit so great is in the arms. Like my arms are like a little bit too big for it. It's not totally uncomfortable, it's still wearable. So just keep that in mind if you have like, I don't know. I feel like my arms are pretty average sized, but maybe what, what do I know? Love, love this dress. If you go to church, this would be a gorgeous dress for church or like for um, going to like a bridal shower or a baby shower or going to tea. Oh, I can think of so many fun occasions to wear this. I'm so excited for the world reopening. That's everything from Chic Wish. Next, I want to share with you some new shoes that I have received, um, starting with some Seychelles shoes. If you all have been around for a while, you've probably seen a couple hauls where I shared some shoes that I got from Seychelles. I have some awesome friends over there that gift me. Here are these slides. I feel like slides are definitely having a moment right now. They are just like so fun. They have like this really cool like pillowy, cushy type of design going on and they're really, really comfortable to wear. In fact, all of Seychelles shoes are extremely comfortable. They're very high quality and well-made brand of shoes as well. They're like handmade in either Italy or in India and that's all from like leather. Yeah, are just incredible. They come in a ton of other colors. The blue ombre I think is really fun for the summertime, but they also had some that are like this nude color tone that was so chic. I might have to get those. Those were my favorite, but they didn't have those in my size at the time. So perfect for like going to the pool for slipping on and running errands in. And then, you know, also just like pairing with outfits because slides, y'all, it's about the slides this year. What can I say? The next pair, black uh, sandals. They're kind of like a more sporty style, I would say. Kind of inspired by Tiva. I feel like whenever I see this style of sandal, I just think Tiva. But these are also leather. They were made in Italy and they're just very beautifully constructed. Come in, I believe they come in white and tan as well, but I really wanted the black ones. I don't have a whole lot of black sandals. And I've seen in certain like ads and different um, editorials where they had women like styled in really pretty floaty feminine type of dresses wearing like black Tiva type of sandals with them to sort of like ground them a little bit. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes when you wear something extremely girly, it can just look very girly, but then when you pair it with something like this, it kind of gives it a little bit more accessibility and makes it a little bit less over the top, if that makes sense. I don't even know if I'm making sense right now, but these are so fun. They have a Velcro closure right here, so they're really easy to get in and out of. So extremely comfortable. They have like this really nice padded sole to them. The last pair of shoes that I got from Seychelles for the spring and summer are this pair, and these were these are also leather and these are called like a fisherman sandal, I want to say. I've never owned a shoe like this before. This is kind of a departure for me, uh, but I felt like this could be really cute with some like 
skirts or dresses in the summertime like maybe like more like boho looks i don't know i just thought i would give these a try because it's just something that's like totally out of my wheelhouse i'm always down to try new styles of shoes so we'll see i i'm not quite sure how to style these yet because i've never owned any like this but we're gonna try it out this summer also got a pair of shoes from amazon i just did an amazon spring and summer haul very very recently so if you haven't checked that out definitely go up here click there or i'll put it in the description box um and i had a pair of shoes in there that i mentioned i was getting a red pair in but they hadn't arrived yet well they're here and this is the pair of shoes that i just got from amazon this is from the amazon in-house brand the drop if you saw that amazon haul then you saw this pair except that i have them in like a faux crocodile but in like a brown color they're like shinier these are like kind of like a faux suede and they're just this really beautiful bright red sandal. I didn't have a good pair of red sandals for the summertime. And I just, like I said in that video, love this style so much because they have a little bit of cushion on the soles. The straps are like perfect. They don't dig into the sides of your toes or anything because sometimes strappy sandals like this can do that. And I just really love the height of this heel is like the perfect height to give you some height, but also like isn't so high that it's uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time or walk in. And they're just very, very sturdy because they're really wide. And I think that like this whole like square toe thing is very on trend this summer. Um, square toed sandals are definitely a huge, huge trend to grab. And they're very, very affordable. I believe they're under $50. They come in a ton of colors. So highly recommend these. They're absolutely perfection. But another item from Amazon that did not come in time for my last haul. And it is this denim jacket, which is also from the brand The Drop. And I just, I really needed like a plain classic denim jacket i have one that's like sort of this color but it's oversized and it has like my blog name like painted on the back of it and like a bunch of patches and pins and i love it for that but sometimes i just want a plain one that i can just wear and it's more classic this one um is sort of like cut off it looks like it's been cut off it's sort of frayed on the end and i really like that detail about it i think it's really really nice it's got like a little bit of stretch in the denim just so you know I prefer my denim stuff to not have any stretch in them, especially jackets, but it's not a total deal breaker. And I think it makes the jacket like slightly more comfortable to wear. It's just classic. It's just a nice dark wash denim. It also comes in like a really light wash, but I really like thought that the dark one was more chic. Just love where it hits. It hits it like kind of like the mid waist. So it's just gonna be a great jacket to wear um, with jeans, over dresses, all kinds of stuff this summer. Cannot go wrong with having a denim jacket. It is a classic staple. One more item from a recent past haul that did not arrive in time for me to haul it in the haul was um, this blazer from Express. I don't know why it just came so much later than all my other stuff, but I wanted to mention it because it is so, so beautiful. And I'm just obsessed with it. It has these really like beautiful, like gold, uh, like tweed threads going on in there. Just like the detail of it is so, so stunning. A double breasted blazer and now a pair of shorts that matches this. And now I really feel like I need the shorts. It's such a cute look. Oh, I have so many blazers. I can't even begin to tell you how many freaking blazers I have. It's ridiculous. I don't need another one, but this one was just so, so pretty. And I thought it would just be really stunning um, with some spring looks so chic okay we have come to the most exciting part about this haul the thing that i bought kind of on a whim but i'm i have zero regrets about it and it is this zach zach posen handbag in a nutshell what i really have been thinking that i want to do uh going forward is to first of all do a declutter of my handbags that is long overdue so stay tuned i will be doing a huge handbag declutter and then a separate huge shoe declutter video but I have so many handbags, but I really only use like a select few of them. And the select few that I do use are really, a lot of them are really recent bags that I've gotten in the last year because I've been really trying to focus on getting nicer bags that are like more of an investment, which are made from like quality materials, which have a classic shape, things that I can see myself wearing uh, and loving for years to come. So I just have so many like cheapy little handbags that I've bought from places over the years that I just need to throw away. And I just want to have like, a, I want to have the less, but I want to have nicer of the less, if that makes sense. Anyway, I was watching a video from one of my favorite YouTubers. And if you don't follow her yet, you need to. She's been my favorite, like literally this for many years. Her name is the Laura Blair and her style is just absolutely impeccable. But every time like she does a video, I want to buy all of her stuff. And she unboxed this bag the other day from Zach Zach Posen and I was like I must 
have that bag. I love Zach Zach Posen bags. I have one other one that I've had for many years. It is a little smaller one. It's a black leather and has like pearl studs all over it. It's super cute. Um, and I rented a similar bag to this from Zach Zach Posen a couple years back um, from Rent the Runway and loved it. And honestly, I should have just kept that bag. Ugh, I don't know what I was thinking um, because I still think about it. But I saw this one, which was very similar in color. But if you look, I mean, look at the little like pearl details that are on the side and on the bottom but if you see that like really gorgeous like perforated leather with the little pearls just like so beautiful it has this uh, pocket here in the back which I use to keep my phone in so that my phone is like quickly accessible and then this gold hardware I mean it's just so stunning Zack Zack pose in there if you can see that kind of like um not matte gold but it's not like super shiny either if that makes sense like I don't know it's just so, so pretty and the hardware on the handles is the same and you just open it up and it's they're very very roomy inside so you can fit a lot of stuff in there it's got another little pocket here what can i say i love these bags so much it also comes with a longer crossbody strap that you can adjust and i just every time you look at it it's so beautiful this was sort of like my early birthday present to myself. It was a bit of an impulse buy, so thank you, Laura Blair, for making me broke, but I have zero regrets. Bought that one off of Amazon. When I saw it on Laura Blair's channel, she linked it from Farfetch, which I will link it from Farfetch below as well, and I believe it's on sale at Farfetch for like 400 something dollars, like this bag retails for $695. I did a little bit of sleuthing, as I do, and I found it on Saks Off Fifth for $210, and I literally put it in my cart and then I like was like, did the thing where I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of money. Maybe I should think about it for a day. Got it for a day. The next day I decided I'm going to go buy it. So I went to go buy it off, off Saks, off Fifth. Saks with that, off Saks, oh, you know what I'm talking about. It was sold out. It was sold out already in one day. So then I found it on Amazon actually for slightly cheaper than Farfetch. I believe on Amazon it was $375. So I just went ahead and grabbed it and it was one day shipping for free. So I will link it to, um, from Farfetch and also from Amazon. I believe on Amazon they were low in stock when I bought mine. Um, but I will do it. Hopefully they don't run out of stock or hopefully they replenish their stock. But, oh my God, I just, I, I love it. I love it so much. Oh my now, as promised, I am going to disclose the secret emoji that I would like you to use to enter the giveaway. And that emoji is going to be the birthday cake because why not? It seems so appropriate. Make sure to include this birthday cake emoji in your comment if you would like to enter to win the Sally Hansen nail stuff. Last but not least, I got a couple new pieces of jewelry from Etika, which if you've been around for a while, then you might have seen my Etika jewelry collection video that I did last summer where I kind of gave like an overall review of Etika and shared my pieces that I owned at that time. But I get stuff from them all the time and a couple things that I've gotten from them recently are so, so pretty. So the first one I wanted to share with you all is this uh, necklace, which is their like Zodiac medallion necklace. And I love that it's so long. This is a long necklace and it does have a little bit of a adjuster chain on it. So you can make it a little bit shorter if you like, but it's so pretty. And it's so appropriate that I'm showing you this because it is my Zodiac sign Gemini. It's these two little medallions. So if you're into like showing off your, uh, Zodiac sign on your jewelry, then I just highly recommend this. I think it's such a beautiful piece. I've been wearing it constantly. I'm obsessed with it. And I believe it was only like 40 something dollars, but I do have a promo code for Etika, which I will put down in the description box with the links for the pieces. Um, so if you want to shop them, you can save a little bit of money, but I really love them because I feel like their pieces are beautiful and like really well made, but like you're not spending a ton of money on them. Like this little choker type necklace that I'm wearing right here is also Etika and I love it. Another necklace from them that I got is this one. This is so fun. It's got like this like two strand situation going on in one. So it's got like this little fine chain and then it has a bigger chunkier chain with these fun little medallions hanging off of it. And I have worn this so much since I received it. I feel like it looks good with dresses. It looks good just over like a white t-shirt or with a tank top. I just love this because it just gives you that like layered necklace look, but with one necklace, so you don't have to like fuss with multiple necklaces. And it also just looks so good paired with other gold jewelry too. So 
love this. I will also link this down in the description box. That concludes this video. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I shared today. Definitely enter the giveaway to get some fun nail polish goodies. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely subscribe. I would really love that. I'm so close to reaching 10K. Please help me get there. It would mean so, so much to me. So give this video a thumbs up. That also really, really helps my channel out in the algorithm. Thank you all so much. I will see you later this week for the Rachel Zoe Curator Summer 2021 box. So stay tuned. Bye.